Time once again for a brand new video. A brand new FYI, idioms and proverbs. What am I going to be telling you this time? I'll let you know in just a moment. for a brand new video, a brand new FYI, idioms and proverbs. If you don't know what a proverb or an idiom is, I will explain it a little bit later. But right now, if you say, the cat's out of the bag, instead of, the secret is given away, you're using an idiom. The meaning of, it, of, the, of an idiom is different from the actual meaning of the words used. And that's why they keep the doctor away, is a proverb. Proverbs are old, familiar sayings that usually give advice. Both idioms and proverbs are part of a daily, our daily speech. Many are all very old and have interesting histories. See how many of these you know. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. The proverbs come from ancient Rome. Romans who believed that apples had magical powers to cure illness. In fact, they are filled with vitamin C, protein, Pectin, natural sugars, copper, and iron. They do promote. Now, long ago, bands on the platforms of traveling wagons played music to announce parade or political speeches. To show their support, people would often jump onto the platform and join the band. Today, this idiom usually refers to someone who hopes to benefit from supporting another person's ideas. In 17th century England, a guard at Windsor Castle was accused of falling asleep at his post. He claimed he was wrongly accused and could prove it. He had heard the church bell chime 13 times at midnight. The townspeople supported that claim and he was not executed. Today we think of the bell that ends around in boxing, often saying, often saying the boxer saving often saving the boxer from injury or the bell at the end of the class period, saving you from more work. Regardless, this idiom means the rescue from situation at the last moment. Bury the hatchet. Native Americans used to bury weapons to show that fighting had ended and enemies were now at peace. Today, the idiom means to make up with a friend after an argument or knock the eyes and cross the T's. When only handwritten documents were used. It was very important for the clerk to write everything properly, especially letters like I and T, which could easily be confused. This idiom has since become has since come to mean paying attention to every detail. Well, that's all we have right now. There'll be more later. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. If you're new to this channel and you like what you hear, then subscribe because there will be more of this coming up in later videos. If you wish to, you may share this video with your friends. And if you have any, have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. As always, you can write me a letter. You can send it to Kenny Davenport at P.O. Box 198, Crossville, Tennessee 38557.